What's up, y'all? This is Jern I. This is Cam Moy. This is Kile. Tune in Hip Hop Official. This is Mixed Music Label. All day. <laughs> nah, I ain't trying that again, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So we just released the album Riding High on a, a new label, Mixed Music label. The Fazo song is one of my favorite songs of all time. That was like the basis of the, the whole concept of the record. We sat down and I thought, yo, that's my favorite song pretty much. I want to make a record based around that whole idea. We wanted to make it like a day in the life of almost, you know, riding around in the car, seeing different things, meeting different people, and it just kind of fit. We wanted to make it really conceptual. When we first started doing the album, we wanted to even go almost as far as like Prince of Thieves. To me, that's one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah, it's a work of art. When we started the album, we sat down and wrote like a script almost, like a movie. We picked out this beat, we want pers this person on this beat with this person. Let's try to get this person to do the hood. We try to direct, you know, the theme of the, of the album as much as possible to make it what we wanted, almost like a story. I think that's kind of how we molded it into our project rather than just like a compilation of just random songs. Our whole intention for making the record was to just make music that we think is dope. If they say it's a throwback sound or it sounds like it's 90s. Definitely no, we didn't intend it to be that way. I feel like kind of our influences maybe just made it that way. We were also, you know, fortunate to incorporate a lot of um, live instruments and session players and stuff to keep, like, the park, our band that we rock with. For us, we just wanted to make dope music and we wanted, to, wanted it to be musical in a sense. I guess that's why people maybe get that old school kind of throwback vibe, but it definitely wasn't intentional. I think it's, I, I think it's funny when people say that, but that's just the kind, I grew up in the 90s, so I guess that's what came out. I was always a fan of his production because he always used non-sample production or he had sample production that was equal quality and not, not a lot of producers could honestly do that. The track that I did on the album is called Trap. That's a song with uh, Slow Mo from Ford Alive. And so basically talking about being really stuck in your local scene, like you're out there repping your your scene hard, but that you're not really getting that support. Your gas guzzling and ride, it costs way more. Oh yeah, brother, that's fly, but mine's paid for. Don't get it confused, we're human and we all breathe. But personally, I appreciate the small thing, being honest, man. The main thing to stay afloat now is because there's so much music out there, you have to make some type of connection with fans. Like, music just doesn't do it anymore, because literally, like, you're looking at the music, it's free. So you have to make people feel like, well, What's so special about you? You gotta make people feel like they wanna sit down and have a beer with you or hang out with you before they really get into your music. So all of that is important. The new uh, Cam Moy album coming out is called Splitting Image. The reason I call it Splitting Image is because I used to be known as Superstition and it's kinda like Superstition was the MC that I always wanted to be as I was growing up. But Cam Moy is who I am once I grew up and realized I got more things I wanna talk about. And that's coming out um, late September, early October. I got production from Jake One, Vitamin D, Ilmon, M Phases. We got my man Fonte from Little Brother. Stay tuned, man. It's, it's gonna be a, a powerful album. I usually use a lot of substance and content behind it or whatever. Like when you listen to this album, like you can walk away with something rather than just saying, well, wow, he's an ill MC. I get tired of listening to the oldie station and listening to certain artists, you know what I mean? Like I wanna have something that I could sit around and listen to with, with my wife or my kids and not feel too old or not feel too young, you know? Growing hop. <laughs> Trying to see beyond a foot race is the marathon. Whatever he be on, I'm not stressing on. Just observe what the rest have gone and turn to the area the sectioned off. Face the fears that have kept them lost. Circle in an island trying to keep them gone. You know, we're all on the roster, makes music label. Pretty much been on the grind for the last year. Recording this record, it's a new Jernai record called Vision. It's going to feature production from Kile and Zaire, Ilman, and Jake One. You know, I got some super dope people on the record. Mr. Fab from Bay, Zainai, Planet Asia, and Roscoe. 
Simpson on the record, uh, Guilty Simpson's on the record. The way I feel about the record is a continuation of my last record. It's very beat driven. It's like back to what we were talking about, like that that classic hip hop sound. You know, I always try to capture that with every you know every song that I make. I don't really veer too far from it. I like making music that I I personally listen to and would enjoy down the line. You know?